Welcome back to the Chad Eastie Show on News Talk 95.1 FM and 790 AM KFYO. Coming up this weekend, a uh, what's going to be a really cool event on Saturday over at our and our friends over at the Knife Guys uh, are going to have a, a big event featuring CRKT Knives. And uh, in studio with me is uh, Philip Watkins with the Knife Guys. Philip, how are you doing today? I'm doing wonderful now that I dodged all the wrecks getting here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, glad you could uh, get here and glad you're here today. Uh, tell us what's coming up this Saturday over at the Knife Guys. Well, we have our CRKT rep coming in to uh, kind of help explain the knives, show them explain what products CRKT has, and to answer customer questions because a lot of times they'll want to know what kind of steel does this knife has, what's the function, what does this do, what, are, you know, all the different questions that we can't answer sometimes, uh, like on past knives that have been discontinued. You can say, oh, that's uh, from 1909, you know. Right, yeah, exactly. And, and uh, he he's going to be there to really help us kick this off and to help help explain uh, the nice functions of CRKT knives. Well, uh, t- for folks who maybe aren't familiar with these type of knives with CRKT, uh, what what kind of sets them apart from others? Well, this company is uh, owned by an American an individual, but he went around and hired all the knife designers, award winning knife designers. For instance, Ken Onion, who developed the leaks and the uh, scallions and uh, for uh, Kershaw. Uh, was hired away from Kershaw, and now he works for CRKT. Mm. And he's designing knives for them as well. And there's Carson and several, several others. So his company is designing knives that are unique. And I brought some to show you yeah. so we could kind of talk about some of the unique features that you find with CRKT knives. Yeah, exactly. Well, well tell us about, and, and uh, for the audience, the way you can see these, of course, is going out on yes. uh, on Saturday and, and seeing these knives. Uh, but but we'll start with uh, you know maybe one of your favorites or maybe one of the best selling knives that that you have there and, well, the and mo- just go around and talk about uh, cause that one's interesting to me. Well, this one is the Provoke. It's probably the hottest item that they had this year. And what people don't understand about the Provoke, it is a designer knife by uh, Joe Caswell Newberry uh, out of Newberry Park, California. Joe Caswell. And there's your clip. It's it's kind of a. Uh, non-traditional clip because you mash at the top and it punches out but the unique thing is you have a compact knife that goes in your pocket and when you flip it it turns into a karambit hmm. and it's it's a real heavy duty karambit for uh tactical purposes whether you're law enforcement or or security or whatever this is a good solid uh knife with a good d2 steel in it that will uh do just about any job that a cramit needs to do well i was about to say it, it it looks like you know for for someone who would carry a knife every single day maybe not necessarily to open boxes but uh for tactical carry and you got a lot of people who do carry uh for tactical reasons that that would be a great knife and i like that you're talking about the clip it, it sits flush with the frame uh, yes. of the knife so it, it doesn't stick out it won't snag on anything and if you look at the frame of the knife itself it's thin, it's not bulky, and but it's heavy duty. And the way they have this uh, pivot system with these little uh, mechanical anchors here, it really sets this knife off apart from others. That you any other cramet, you'll have pocket pulls on some cramets, but this is a quick thumb release and you're ready to go, and it's in the right position when you come out with it. Yeah, yeah, that's very cool. Jody, uh, on the other side, you, you look uh, you, you look that's very just, happy about that knife. Well, that's just a nasty-looking deal right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talk Man. about some of the, some of the other right, knives that this, you have. This knife I have a lot of fun with. Uh, this is called the uh, uh, Fulcrum. Uh, this is a small Fulcrum, and the, what's unique about this is I challenge customers sometimes, if you can figure out how to open it, I'll uh, give you a discount. Well, I rarely have to pay the discount, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, it's easy to open once you, once you know the trick. But it is a designer knife, and you push the frame in a certain way, and then the frame, push, the frame itself becomes the opening mechanism. Nice. And then it's locked into position where it won't collapse on your hand. As you push on the blade, you see I'm pushing on the blade. It doesn't come down on my fingers. Right. So it's just a nice, unique gentleman's knife. I call this a nice with this carbon fiber handle and the good frame and the thinness. It's a good gentleman's knife with a unique 
uh, frame that you can have fun with showing, you know, your friends yeah. and coworkers. Yeah, absolutely. Like uh, now, uh, one of the knives that you brought uh, has a blade that goes all the way around. Yes, this is a what they call a snap lock. This knife here from CRKT, if you push down on this, it'll go 360 degrees around in a circle. Now, I have two different models. There's another model that I don't have the uh, clip on. But the reason for this is, is if I take this clip and take it to the other side, it can be a left hand or right hand, mm. and it'll flip open for it however you want it to go. So it's it's designed to be ambidextrous. Right. And so as a knife to de- knife design that you have here this is a van hoy design of a knife Hmm. van hoy is the designer of this knife and you find some of the most unique and interesting designs in the crkt and the name for crkt is columbia river knife and tool okay uh so but they uh they do have multi-tools that are just as unique as the knives are yeah uh, and, and so uh, the event is from one to five. One to five on Saturday. You're going to have these knives. Yes, uh, and and uh, and I, I assume others as well. Yes. Oh, much. Uh, we have a, a wide selection of CRKT knives. Yeah. So yeah. they're going to be out there, and you can get uh, people can get uh, all the questions answered from one to five uh, on uh, Saturday. Uh, but which tell us about? You got two more knives uh, right, that you two brought more with knives you. here. Now this knife, this is called an M16 O2S Classic. Now, we have several. There's M16s and M21s. These are also designer knives. Now, what's unique about these, this is a Carson design, and they have a double lock system where you pull a pin here, and it has a pin in here that's, you see that pin in there. You can't, that liner lock won't collapse as long as that pin's engaged. Right. So you have to disengage the pin and then release it. Now, it takes a little practice to get used to that kind of knife, but it is a safety feature that they've built into this knife for people that are working. These are heavy-duty, nice, solid knives that you can work with and not worry about the liner lock giving out and collapsing. Yeah, it's not going to fall back on you. Right, right. Now, this one is just a nice knife that if you're buying a gift for somebody, this is from a designer called Ecoma. Uh, It's called the Fossil, and... um, it's a pivot system where they have a bearing system in here. There's no spring, but it flips open quickly with with the flick of your finger. And it's the fossil look of it is what gives it the nice design and stuff, yeah. plus the utility of having a knife that doesn't have a spring but opens as fast as a spring. Yeah. And they that's the wonderful thing about CRKT knives is that they do wonderful things with them in their designs. Some for safety, some for use, function, and some for just to have nice comfort. Yeah, and and uh, and, and for tactical and, and, and for protection and, and for anything you need, uh, anything right. you need. The uh, knife guys uh, going to have uh, the CRKT event from one to five on Saturday. Tell folks where you're located at. Oh, and we will have free drawings for free knives during this event. Ah, there you go. From two, three, four. It'll be at two, three, four, and five. So we'll give away four knives during the event. Uh, if you come out and you purchase anything at all at our store, you can register to get into the event, and you'll have a chance to win some free knives. That's awesome. Tell folks uh, where the Knife Guys is located at if they haven't been in already. Uh, it's at 6620 Milwaukee, uh, Space 800. It's at 66 in Milwaukee in the Commons West uh, Strip Center. It's on the uh, west side of the road, uh, and it's... It's uh, easy to see. We have a big knife on the top of our building. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) It's It's a good location. Bill, thanks for stopping by today. Appreciate it. I appreciate you having me.